I think I found myself a cheerleader. How does it feel to be such a fucking beefcake? <sighs> what are you doing? Weren't you gonna use the bathroom? Yes, but a pair of someone else is using it. And the door's been shut since before the party even started. Damn you, the bathroom's for everyone. How dare you hog it? Just shit outside or something, bro. Come on. Someone's been using the bathroom since before the party even started? That's what it looks like. No matter how many times I check, it never seems to be open. This is bad. Oh shit, I'm going to shit! <laughs> the more I try to hold it in, the more it wants to come out. Wait, Gabe, we didn't intro this. Uh, this was going to be an intro. Hold, hold it, hold it in. Intro. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> that was the idea. Even so, that's a long time to be in the bathroom. Who's in there? If they've been there since before the party started, it can't be Biakion. Uh, there could literally only be one person. I swear to God, if Little Mafia Boy is dead, I'm gonna be pissed. Why didn't you not Clatter like Clatter. him? Uh, no, I had no problem with Mafia Boy. He was, he was a little shithead, and I want to beat the shit out of him. That's a good thing. It's not opening, it seems someone's in there. Um. Oh, shit. That was delayed. Now you know. I have searched the hallway, but there is no sign of Byakuya. Where did he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. I like him just like, yeah, I'll check the entrance. She's at the entrance. She stole my job. Yeah. Fuck you, Biddy. Hey, Chiaki. Hi, Usami. Jackie and Mona Mi are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hajime, what about the party? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet! Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout outside the old building, and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Ah, uh, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one inside the storage room, either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange, Nobody no? was in the office? That's weird. Huh? What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. I swear to God, if we got three... Dead people, I'm gonna be pissed. Hey. Oh, actually, not even Pekka was there. Huh? Huh? Pekka's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. <laughs> truly, truly outrageous. Mm -hmm. Um. Did something happen to Connie? What do y'all smell something? I'm assuming he's, it's not just me. Oh, hey, they were under the table the entire time. Well, when partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria, releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed into the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted Okay, the yeah, no, farts. Those are the yes. mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like no, I'm not talking about that. Hey. It smells like blood. Blood? Hmm. Sakana's nose twitched like a beast she suddenly pointed. It's coming from over there. 
Yeah, a table at the very back of the dining hall. <laughs> that thing I said before. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, kid. That's crazy. The smell of blood. What in the world is that? Is that that table? It's under there. Under the table? I dash towards the table at the back, reach out toward the table cloth, mm. and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Hey, Biakia. Yeah. What's up, buddy? He. That's crazy. Fucking he set off rip, a death Peter flag. Bitch. I mean, yeah, he literally kept yeah. saying, I won't let any of you become the victim. Okay, so you're no. gonna be the victim. Boom. A, he he did his job. B, um, to be perfectly fair, to be perfectly fair, he set off a huge <sighs> death flag right before this happened. <sighs> he said, at another point in time, later in the future, I'll tell you. And I'm like, oh no. Yeah, you're gonna die. It, it, oh the only no. only would've been worse is, I'll always protect you. That would have been the only thing that would have no. saved his death or more. No. No. Yes. If he had said, I'm two weeks from retirement, no. and I have a girl back home. <laughs> one day from retirement. It's usually one day from retirement. Two weeks from retirement is the old Yeah, meme. I know, but one day from retirement because, uh, you know, literally one day. Mm. Mm-hmm. For the rest of my life, I'll never forget what I saw. What I saw was the ultimate affluent progeny. Progeny. Uh, Byakuya Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty recognizable. What do you think about all that, Gabe? Well, logically, it's probably somebody in the room. Because he died in the I room. I meant more so of, you just saw Byakuya die. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's a corpse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Byakuya, the guy I'm not very happy about game. that, to be honest. Hey, he was he was he was getting better in this one. He was actually nice. He wanted to protect us all. I said I'm not happy about that. Oh, I thought you said you were. Okay, my bad. No, I'm not happy about that. He, I'm pretty sure he wasn't dealing with memory loss. I'm pretty sure he was here to try to help us. Yeah, it was funny. By the way, I think you said something about him maybe being the, the spy because he was from the old one. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Sure, bud. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean much to be a spy. Yeah, that might just be Monokuma just fucking with people, Time but to yeah. Time cross a name off my list. What do you think, Sonya? He's fucking dead. Mahiru, chill out, buddy. Come on. Inside voices. I stood there horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gaze quietly at the body of my former friend. Also, I love hey, that, we can still be friends. I love that Akane's a literal bloodhound. Yep. Go take your shit, boy. Come on. This is... It's impossible! Don't mess with me! This must be some kind of mistake! can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, th this... What the hell? Good gracious, things t quickly took a turn for the worse. My mind now this is entertaining. Interesting. On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Hold on then, does this mean... <laughs> of course. Right. Byakuya was killed by one of you. W what? Of course. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly. He was obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? No. A face full of regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this? Not everyone could die with a fucking smile on their face like Sakura, okay? Sorry. I mean, or, well, yeah, <laughs> whatever. She's uh, this isn't crazy. murder. Sakura was not bad shit crazy. That's fair. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. 
Bianca was most likely to be sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered? The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that, that I've accepted the fact that Bianca was murdered. Hey, what's up? Is that really Byakuya? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Byakuya? I see, I see. It appears to you goes the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? Dong, dong, ding. Body has, has been discovered. discovered. Well then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Class trial? Hey, um. I've explained everything to you, right? It's one of you who gets murdered. The rest of you have to and debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to find out who the killer is. Correct. That's right, from this point on, you guys must investigate and cover the black and culprit. It can't be. Someone actually ki There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's I wouldn't believe it. One of us killed Byakia? There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned life risking battle between you guys and the black and man, it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, what are you saying? You can't. Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, this is only, there's only ever one truth. You have a grandpa? Yeah. <laughs> you have a grandpa? What the fuck? On my grandfather's grave. Me? Grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? I don't feel like that's as important right now. Plane. Emergency. What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? Hmm, I don't even know where to begin at this rate. Did you see that? That stunning display of power? Defy your big brother and I'll show you no mercy. I'll harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against uh, Monokuma. What happened? What? Fine, fine. Why is she covering blood? Monokuma just beat her up. And? And? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just let's leave the liney rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovely doubt and lovely deception, put your heart and soul in investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck! And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Byaki's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, um, you can't doubt each other because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out the, who the killer is, then we're all gonna get killed, right? That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide no by this or not. What? No one gives a shit. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. No! Friends doubting friends is a major no-no! Shut up, shut, uh, shut up. Just go away already, you useless piece of trash. Ooh, uh, the rats are scary. Do 
we really have to do it? But... No, I don't want to do something like that. No, I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... However, it is just as Hyoko said. If we are going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakia. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakia's death. I'll do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to do is... What we need to fight is not ourselves, no but that which tries is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. D destroyed the evidence? Pointing. Look over there, that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the job. Okay, this just feels reminiscent. What do you mean? What? Oh hey, the big bulky person's gonna be the guard. Yeah, okay, this seems reminiscent. Let me guess, the other person's gonna be the dark-skinned death lead? Athlete? Bleh. What it? That's what you thought. Megumar's a fucking pussy. What the heck? What happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart despite his looks. <laughs> Is that what that means? Hey. Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. So take some photos. I'll just stay by Byaki's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, Mahu. Uh, uh, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. Uh, I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. Please. Um, so you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious. We're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only one who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. Let's we'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakia. But to perform an autopsy on your friend? How cruel. I mean that's not cruel, that's We really try not just... to die out here, Usami. Well it's not it's not even that, like personally. If I were killed and I had a friend who was uh, into criminology and all that, I would want them to be the one to do the autopsy on me because they would search for every clue they could find. But, but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Ah. <laughs> Fine, I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive? Finding out what the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. So was I hope something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. You thought it was time for the investigation, but... Just I thought you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? I don't like this. Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. Let's see, the Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. 
I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My mind my, my, wanted me the meaningless mascot. You're still here? You Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Ouchie, don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. They're finally gone. Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look over it just in case. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building at the Hotel Marai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times before the throat and ab in the uh, throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So, Byakuya is really dead. Damn it, you promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? You promised it, and now I'll never know what you're gonna say to me. I cannot talk to others about my past, as to them, and this is all just flashback, I can just let this play out. In the end, what did it even mean? Could it be? Obtain the truth for what? Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Okay, first things first. I'm the, the realist. fuck is this green stuff? Under this very table, Bianchi was. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of the table that really catches my eye is this death clamp. Looks like an antique clamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackouts. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so now it's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. So, what's with the duct tape? I'm assuming that's where Bianchio was hiding those uh, goggles before? I immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze towards Bianchio's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? It's the only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. So, that's where the knife was held. Got it. Huh? Something's stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In this dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? So that was so he could find it? Biaki, you're not looking good, dude. If you were hiding a knife down there. Bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Biakia? Hold on. How did the killer bring his, this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Biakia thoroughly patted everyone down and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated at dangerous items were supposed to be placed in this Duralumin case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. And there's one more thing about the knife that's strange. There's this kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. And this dim white beneath the table it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Level I like how you say the almost the exact same section. thing about two different items, but don't put two and two together about those two items. Oh yeah. my god. Well, it's almost like this is a detective game, and the detectives are always stupid. Hmm? What is this? It looks like binoculars, but... Why is there a pair of binoculars on the Have table? Have never seen night vision goggles in a video game ever, Hajime? Hajime, those are binoculars. And then what are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, 
the killer used these night vision goggles to kill Bianca during the blackout. Bianca, were you seriously planning to commit murder? What the fuck, dude? Either that, or was this your self-defense plan? To hide under a table with night vision goggles and a knife to defend yourself? Either you're a coward or a murderer, I'm, or attempted murderer, I'm not sure which, dude. This body is collapsed face down into the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something, it looks like he was going to the Monokuma file he's repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed? Will one of us really do something so horrible? The blood flowing beyond his body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the underside of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have been splattered all over the place when he got stabbed, but there don't seem to be any drag marks leading across the blood pool. I am confused about one thing. What? How does Sumi commit all that stabbing and yet have no blood on them? Because Almost that would imply like that would one of... Explained during the trial. Yeah, it's uh, one of few things. Either the person was not immediately in this room afterwards, so they had time to go clean up and change the clothes, whatever. Which would only be Pekko and uh, Shorty, who Shorty, I'm assuming, never came in the building. Actually, no. Chiaki I... also wasn't there because she was standing outside. Uh, if if you... you let me finish my sentence. Well, you said because Chiaki was standing... Because Chiaki was standing outside, and I'm assuming Chiaki would tell us if little Shorty were to come to the building. Yes, but I'm saying Chiaki also wasn't there in the room. Yeah, room. but I, yeah, but Chiaki and Monami were together. Also, Nekumar wasn't there either. He was outside trying to shit in the bathroom. Right. He's also a pussy, though. Yes, he is. So... Pekko, at that point, would seem the most likely case, and that's concerning. Don't want that to be the case. Um, I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Oh, hell, hell, nearing, answer my call! Impossible. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You! It's not mere earring, it's the Hellhound earring. Fine. Long ago in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through the innumerable battlefields, its fang glistening with blood, and his drenched, blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of his loneliness. When I finally tamed this diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver. The Hellhound earring. So I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. A Pomeranian? Yeah. Is that really about a freaking Pomeranian? I stand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpets didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked through the hall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. Ah, oh, there it is! I found it truly! That is the Hellhound Earring! <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through the opening. Where to use a tool would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up? What? Give up the world? I meant give up the earring. You! Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. <laughs> It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about this on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must save the world. One of my favorite um, things ever that I've seen a lot of people making a meme about is 
You know that one uh, Kardashian soundbite that people use as a meme a lot where she's like, my diamond, my diamond earring came off in the ocean. And then one of her sisters is like, people are dying, Kim. This. Yeah, this. Gundam. This, that people is. People are dying, Gundam. Um. Jeff? Hello. How big of a gap is there in the four boards? Is it big enough to, for a skewer to fit into? I don't know. I don't know how big the fucking gap is. It's big enough for his fucking no, ear to fall through. I'm, I'm, I'm voicing this to make it clear that if the killing weapon was actually a skewer and then dropped down there, that might be how you could get blood not to pop on it. But it'd be nice if you actually helped me with the investigation. Me? Gaps in the floorboard. What? What? No, I was reading what he said. Oh. Oh, you're talking about yeah, our Gundam. Okay. <gasps> the yeah. John Lumen case is open. <gasps> oh, this is the metal case Bianchi had with him. I believe you said it was made of dirt Lumen. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things in this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Hmm? What's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just the case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. It's almost like the shape of a pair of goggles, but the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other Dura Woman case. The other case was in the office, and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Dura Woman case is right here, then it's unlikely the murder weapon you used to kill Biakia was taken from that case. Which means the weapon inside the Dura Woman case aren't way to Biakia's murder. Even still, I. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byaki have the Dural Woman case in the first place? Oh. Um. A case packed with all the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something that was going to happen beforehand? Because that he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. Um, remote controlled AC and air conditioner? Could it be? <clears throat> yeah. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room, and the air conditioner's remote control. The timer set to 11:30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Bianca's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means that mechanical sound for the blackout it probably came from the air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. So the ultimate inspiration got it. What? AC timer. He's the ultimate inspiration. Okay. Hi. Yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. <laughs> That's why I need to do it to, 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 somehow. Hi. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right. I need to calm down first. I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Showing you something so unsightly. Ah, ah, you made me remember it again. Hell yeah. I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Oh, shut up, bitch. <laughs> but please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. And I will Sorry. be using it as material for later tonight. <clears throat> I can't stand it. <sighs> Ooh. 
Why? Nah, you know, no reason. No reason. I hate it. No reason. Thanks, I hate it. My hero, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is what you expected me to say. Because I feel terrible. One minute Biaki is alive and well, and then in an instant something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. Then we, that we have to find out who the killer is? Find out which friend killed our friend? I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If only I had acted calmer during the blackout. Yakia might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing never would have happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. That me, makes lesbian. you sound gay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Oh yeah, the pictures. Hmm. Want to see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Um... I forget that's what we look like. That is indeed what we look like. Mm. God, that sushi. Oh. <laughs> so why is he disturbed? Because he has to shit. He hasn't been able to shit. Ah, right, yeah. Um, hmm. did you know something about that? No. The Hope Boy standing right next to the AC unit? Yeah, but the AC is um, based on the timer, Gabe. Yeah, but you can change the time. But it's based on the timer. Which was... Yeah, which means he could have used the timer right there. He could have set it to five minutes from then. But he's not touching the AC. Huh? Not in that picture. Okay. Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Byaki was standing along the wall farthest away from that table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something everyone's staying position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's staying position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm, but who would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. <sighs> Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right, now that that's decided, you better do your best. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? What's going on? You gotta find out how Byakuya died. Yeah, I know, but it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than she was feeling down. Hey, hey Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? 
Yeah, that's right. And if Byaka's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it. But why was Byaka's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he could have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out exactly what happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way to know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although if seeing was impossible, then it's possible someone might have heard something. Hmm. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Now then, who, where else should I investigate? Hajime. A moment? Hmm? What is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> you're too you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope Speak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're gonna go together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. He'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what you said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. I guess for now, we should search the inside of this old building, listen to what others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout the entire building. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sonia. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Um... It is strange, no? It appears that the wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps... Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm? You've never seen one before? It's a door that... Yeah, okay. It's a door that keeps the fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Yeah. I see. It is like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. You know about keep, keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Truth bullet obtained. Fire door. I guess we're gonna go into the kitchen. Hey, Teratero. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Teratero? <laughs> How did I do his voice? Like that Mineta. blackout totally. St yeah. Yeah, I know. The blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought I was just gonna go in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to make it out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everyone's voices, so I fumbled along the walls and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Uh, that's impossible. The gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly effective at the blackout. That's not how that works at all. I mean, if the starter is electric based, then it is how it works. So yeah, if it wasn't on previously. Most gas stoves don't, though. Most gas stoves don't need electricity to work. That's their whole point. Most. You're right. Um, the only one I can think of is one that my aunt used to have, and honestly, it was kind of shitty stove to begin with, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's something about, like, industrial kitchens or something? Like, Maybe. the kind that you would use in restaurants? Maybe. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I guess you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess not. Terratier's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section. It's giant, I love it. Hey. Since we've come all this way, let's investigate this area just for the heck of it. All this, mm -hmm. like, ten feet away. There's a chance there might be some sort of clue here. Um... Okay. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Fish dishes and a big piece of meat on the bone, too. 
Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big. Even I was shocked. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Ioama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Ioama or Azabu. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where'd you get it? That's Nekimaru. Apparently, he killed a cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? But he has human hands. That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. But isn't he like a total pussy? Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekamar is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ioma and Azabu, so wild country things like that, they sell my mind a lot, you know? Yeah, I guess the meat has gone to waste since these awful things happened right before when the party started. The only one who ate my food were... Any food. Any food were Akane and Pekka, who took some portions for herself. Oh, don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. And y'all can still eat. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but there, if, if there really is a killer out there, well, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. The party dishes. Um, yeah, I guess this. Biaki must have confiscated all the dangerous items in the kitchen's equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list, it seems like the knife next to Biaki's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Biaki's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean. He didn't go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance to hit somewhere. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Um, I guess I'm pretty much finished re investigating the kitchen for now. Nagito, let's get moving. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs>